Hello, SMB Nation. Harry Brelsford uh, coming to you from the ferry. So this is a Harry on the Ferry podcast series as I go into the tech hub of Seattle to do the voodoo that I do. And we're back with Ryan Walsh at PAX 8 out of Denver, Colorado for a check-in. And Ryan, uh, thanks for joining us. So this is kind of fun. I'm, I'm, you, you've never done a Harry on the Ferry. <laughs> I have not done a Harry on the Ferry. I feel honored to be a part of such a thing because it sounds really cool. <laughs> there you go. You I'm, I'm say, just <laughs> voodoo and tudu. No. You're, you're, you're breaking out. Yep, the, the voodoo. Here. Yeah, the voodoo <laughs> that I do. That's right. So. Um, well, listen, if I, I, I'm watching a tall ship go by. Some of the ships are coming in for the 4th of July week. So uh, as an aside, um, uh, I want to talk about uh, Sentinel-1. Uh, what's going on? What is Sentinel-1? What is the story over at PAX-8? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for asking that, Harry. Um, we're really excited about Sentinel-1 at PAX-8 because PAX-8 is a born-in-the-cloud distributor, is always looking for... Um, new categories of products and and the way that we uh, we come across those new categories we listen to partners talk about it or ask us about it so we've got our ear to the ground about that and Sentinel One was one that hit our radar um, a number of months ago because there were a few of their competitors that raised a lot of money or they were uh, making a splash and their name came up in this context actually it was probably nine. To 12 months ago when we first heard about the category, which is um, endpoint detect and response. So we deal with, and the, the markets had um, endpoint protection out there, endpoint protection, but this new evolution of this category came about as a need for um, a more sophisticated way to, um, to protect against external threats, bad actors. And as we're constantly hearing about that threat evolving, one theme that started to bubble up is that um, bad actors are utilizing machine learning, artificial intelligence as a part of their attack. So that really put a challenge out to vendors to do the same. How do you deploy advanced technologies to thwart these new threats? And that's the context of, of this new category, um, EDR. Uh, detect and endpoint detect and response. And so we came across Sentinel One as a strong player in this uh, in this grouping, um, and that they had a very cool technology. And we started checking it out. And so just recently, you know, we went through the process of checking out all these different products, picking them, and we launched them a few weeks ago and announced it at DatoCon. And it was just Really cool to see uh, and hear the reaction to that at DatoCon because DatoCon was just, it was really an amazing event this year, uh, over 2,300 partners there. And, and Dato just does an amazing job putting on an event. You know, Rob Ray, as a, a leader in the industry, you know, great reputation, but his group is known for putting on a great event. And I think this is, this was truly one of the best events that, that we've attended uh, recently, it was, it was amazing. And so to announce Sentinel One as a new product category and vendor for us, the feedback was amazing all the way around, meaning a lot of people were saying, oh, I have that need, and I'm really glad you added that product. And, and we had the benefit because we launched it three weeks ago to our partner base. Some of our partners had a chance um, to do their thing and, you know, get a trial going. And it was really cool because we had partners, partners who said, oh, I'm interested in that product. Um, how do I get it? And you had that combined with partners who had been using it to say, here's how I evaluated it. This is why I decided to use it. And I can actually go further and tell you how I set up the, the sandbox to evaluate products that way. So not only was yep. the news about it really cool, um, it was really nice to sort of see the community embrace it in its different form and fashion uh, that, that just uh, stood out. It was pretty special. Yeah, that, that name rings a bell. Uh, are they out of Florida? Is that the same security lack of a better word, solution provider, ISV. Are they, they based in Florida? Uh, no, they may have an office there, but I think they're based out of California. Okay. Okay. 
cool. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, let me let me catch what you're throwing on the DattoCon uh, conference because we're we're hearing the same thing. Jennifer Hallmark from SMB Nation and over in the radio control room enjoyed three amazing days there, and it's it's very interesting in the event space. You know, you count on one hand kind of the category killer conferences that are out there. And, and Adocon has quickly uh, emerged um, on that one hand, if not the top three. Um, so I, I concur. I concur that, that we're hearing great things. Jenny heard great things while she was there. Um, quickly, Ryan, is there, there, are there any other surprises or things that stood out at Datocon that you'd like to share with the audience? Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the things that made it special that um, I personally, you know, being out there, because I do a, a fair amount of attending these events and speaking at them. And I get asked questions about, you know, what makes PAX 8 different and who are you, what are you doing and why? But when when I really get down to it and say, here's what we're doing and this is what is um, different about it, um, I can say that, but it's more powerful if, if partners of PAX 8 talk about it that's more powerful. Um, so if I, and, and, and we're recognizing that and we're, try, we're trying to embrace that as a company by building upon, um, it's really a, a theme and an approach that we take where we, we refer to helping out a partner as being their wingman. And so lately we've been talking about really trying to craft, create, nurture a great wingman experience. And what was really cool and surprising at the show is that I can say that we can put that in, you know, a marketing clip or a video, but I witnessed this at the show firsthand. And the way it came about was, you know, most of the time when you go to these shows, you get a partner coming in saying, Hey, I heard about you most likely from another partner. Maybe it's a press release or they're reading stuff from, you know, uh, you know, great sources like SMB nation. Uh, and then they're like, okay, tell me more. And so that's uh, in large measure what we see uh, in, in the booth. And, you know, we saw Jenny there, the booth was hopping. So we had a lot of that conversation. That's what I expect to happen at these events. What happened at this one, there was almost an equal measure of partners, number of partners coming to the booth. We, we approach them like they don't know who we are. It's like, a, you know, that's why you're coming to talk to us. We had so many partners that say, no, 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 I, I, um, I'm coming in just to say I'm already a partner and I'm really happy. And um, you guys have done a great job for us. And I want to give a shout out to this sales rep or to this support rep. And, you know, I might get that a few times at an event, but at DattoCon, it happened so much. It really stood out and, and you know, it was just sort of eye catching because it's one thing for us to say, we really want to create a great experience, when, but when a partner comes in and they say what they're saying, um, I, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't plan for that, invest in that enough to make that happen, but I can't really make that happen unless they actually experience a good thing and they're willing to talk about it, and that happened. In fact, relative to the news about Sentinel-1, this, this really happened. We were sitting there talking about Sentinel-1, and one partner was asking about it, and we had one partner who set up a very comprehensive sandbox and another partner who was um, got the trial but didn't turn it on yet. And so it was really cool because the partner who set up this very comprehensive sandbox started talking about um, how we set up the sandbox and, you know, what types of threats he threw at, um, you know, multiple uh, products. And Sentinel-1 stood the test, was better than anybody else. And so the partner who had the trial said, hey, could you tell me how you set up that sandbox? Because it was really complex, but it was very thorough. And then the partner who was interested in the product is listening to these two guys basically e expressing that they did all this work. And when I look at that, I think to myself, that's really the ultimate. That, that reminds me of the power and the influence of the MSP community at play. So if I can create yeah. as PAX 8 a great experience then it's really powerful because they'll talk to each other. And that's what they do in large measure, sharing tips and advice and best practices. And I was just super, super surprised at how much inbound flow came about that. And that I am just so proud of that. And, you know, want to keep nurturing that because we, we're, we're approaching the 7,000 partner mark and we're, we're putting on, you know, up to 400 a month. But I, I need to make sure that everybody's having a great experience or else, 
um, you know, we'll lose that precious thing. So that that stood out to me at DataCon, and I think that not only speaks to what we're trying to accomplish, I think it also speaks to t the type of event that Datto put on, uh, because you really have an engaged set of conversations at their show. Yep. Yep. No, we would concur, and and I would tell you, I'll end on this that, you know, there's there's a couple things money cannot buy. One of them is time, and then the other would be these organic accolades that you're expressing occurred at DattoCon. I mean, you, you you can't buy that kind of behavior, right? Literally, it has to, it it it, it just has to occur. So. With that said, sir, congratulations on a, uh, it sounds like a handsome event for you and, you know, continuing to add the line card, especially in the security area and the de uh, device detection um, portion. And uh, let's check in again uh, before too long. Always, always a pleasure, Ryan. Thank you so much, Harry. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of the, the ferry experience and, uh, and also to see Jenny at the show. That was really uh you know, a nice benefit too, Jenny. Thank you uh, for stopping by the booth um, and, you know, talking to us as well. Thank And for having me on. Well, there you go. So this is Harry on the Ferry with a podcast coming into downtown Seattle to go play in the, uh, the Tech Hub. We'll catch you later, guys. Thanks, Jenny. Have a great day. Bye-bye.